I'm Peter Hayward and uh, this is my trusty Hammond and this time I thought we'd have a look at Close Harmony where you do block chords in the right hand and the left hand just plays the one melody note. It sounds very effective at both on the organ and on piano. So if you'd like to know how it's done, it's a lot of fun and it's quite easy to learn. So come over the keyboard and I'll show you how. Okay now as it's the right hand that's going to be doing most of the work I want uh, you to start doing some very, very quick exercises just to learn your chords in the right hand. Let's take a chord of C with the right hand. And now I want you to invert it. That's to take the bottom note and pop him at the top. Let's do that again. The C goes to the top. The E then goes to the top. And they're called inversions. Let's do a chord of F. Let's do a chord of C7. Do you remember how to work the sevenths out? Miss, 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 play and all that. There we go. Let's have a chord of B flat. Chord of B flat. Miss, 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 play. Miss, miss, play. There's your B flat chord. So let's do it with the right hand. Use the index finger, I think, on the B flat would be nice. So it's called a C with a G at the top. C7 with a C at the top. Uh, F with an F at the top. A G chord with a B at the top. So I want you to start to work on that right hand to be able to play those inversions instantly in any position because what we're going to do is to take a simple tune. Let's have Happy Birthday to You. And to do block chords, or close harmony, we use the chord symbol, which in this case is F. And we copy the notes into the right hand, always with the melody at the top. So we want a chord of F with a C at the top. Now play the melody. Now we want a chord of F with the F at the top. Chord of C7 with an E at the top. Chord of C7 with the C at the top to make the tune, so always that melody is at the top. Chord of C7 with the G at the top. Chord of F with the F at the top. So you see why we were doing all those inversions? It's because really the uh, close harmony is made up of inversions but with the melody note at the top. C7 with the G at the top. F with the F at the top. F right at the top with the C there. C at the top. A at the top. F at the top. They're all F chords. They're, they're, they are the inversions. Look. Happy birthday, dear organist. Now we have a B flat chord. There's your B flat chord. But the melody, dear organist. So you see the, the B flat chord eventually comes, but the melody note comes in first with the two bottom notes of the B flat chord. Now it's a B flat with the B flat at the top. F C7 with the G at the top. So that's the best practice I can think of for anybody who wants to do block chords. Happy birthday to you. Chord of F with the F at the top. C7, C7 with the C at the top, C7 with the G at the top, to F. B flat chord, but with the melody at the top, B flat again, F chord, C7 to F. Now, your left hand's done nothing so far, so what the left hand does is simply play the melody note at the bottom to start with. So imagine it as a sandwich there. There's your bread, and the harmony is the filling with the right hand. All your left hand is doing is playing the melody. The right hand's filling in.
watch what happens here. I did it again. Happy birthday! When it goes up, the left hand glides over all the white notes. Watch. You have to make sure you stop in time. Here's another little trick that they do. You can slide over the happy birthday. Slide down with the left hand. Only the left hand. It makes up for the fact that it's doing very little. It might as well put a few extra notes in. Happy birth slide. So let's go from the top again. Here we go. C7 to start with. Now is the big slide. And that is close harmony. Thank mm -hmm. you.